Hi, this is Cameron back again with another Canada Rocks video featuring uh, music from the 1960s and early 1970s, which was a real peak time in, uh, in creativeness in, in the Canadian scene. This is my fifth video on this theme, so I'm getting later in the alphabet uh, up to Z. So we'll start off with a band called Smile, which is a pop psych band from Burlington, Ontario in 1970. This is their sole uh, single album. And this is on Columbia Records from Canada. Now another album that I showed well, at least once before on the VC is a uh, Coca-Cola promotion album featuring the Guess Who and the Staccatos. The Staccatos became the five-man electrical band. This is called A Wild Pair and came out in 1968. This is on Nimbus 9 Records, which is the same label as... Uh, is get early guess who is on? Let me show you that. Or Nimbus Records, not Nimbus, not Nimbus Nine. On Birch Mount, which was a important. Canadian label in the 1960s. We have a collection called Strictly Canadian and it has a lot of uh, pop as well as some garage bands. So garage bands like The Plague, Tomorrow's Keepsake, uh, The Checker Lads. This came out in 1968. And I'll show you the Birch Mount label. Also on Birch Mount, this time from 1969, are the uh, Sultan Street Nine. Oops, having a hard time getting this out of the plastic. So as I said, that's on Birchmont Records as well. From 1972, some prog and uh, electronic rock featuring uh, Cyrinx, Long Lost Relatives. Opens up, gatefold. This is on True North Records, which also would feature Bruce Coburn and Marie McLaughlin, folk singers. Hard Rock Band from 1972 called Thunder Mug. This is their album Strikes. There are Axe Records, I'll show the label for Axe. This is on Cotillion. It's a band, a heavy psych band, which also has some intersperses the heavy psych with some world music, sort of like Ukrainian or, or uh, Eastern European uh, folk influences as well. So Troika, so Troika being a Russian name, 
They came out in 1970. I believe this is from Edmonton. I'm not 100% sure of that. Another one on Birch Mount Records is Tuesday's Children. This is uh, Pop Psych from 1969. So Troika was from 1970, if I didn't say that. This is one that uh, Fat City Vinyl Doug showed. Uh, out of BC, and this is a little later in the period. This is from 1976, CB Victoria, Dawning Day, some piano rock. Mine's in the shrink wrap. And this is on, uh, what label? Janice? I believe that's Janice label. Out of Quebec, on the Fun Quebec label, is Villemar Blues Band, live at Montreal, 1974. They're a, a progressive rock band, even though they're called a blues band, but they're a progressive rock. Opens up, gatefold. And here's the fun Funk Quebec label. Another album by Villemar from 1975. Just called Villemar. Opens up again. And the inner sleeve is similar to the gatefold. I believe that's on Funk Quebec also. Let's just double check. Yeah, it's on Funk Quebec also. Uh, Bob Segarini's band, after he'd been in Roxy, and before that he'd been in Family Tree, uh, The Whackers. This is called Whackering Heights from 1971. It's pop rock, very good pop rock. Bob Segarini would have a solo career as well. So this is from 1971. On Electra label, The Butterfly... Electro label from 1972, Hot Wax from 1973. Wacker's Shredder. I think this is from Regina, Saskatchewan. Band called Ward 6. And they are a um, pop band. They do a Beatles, Beatles cover of, uh, see, they do Eric Anderson, they do Gordon Lightfoot, James Taylor, Woody Guthrie, Tim Harden. I've just seen a face by John Lennon and Paul McCartney. They do an Ian Tyson. So it's a lot of cover tunes. On This is on Cinda Records, Ward 6.
I'll show the label of Cinta. Next up, older style rock and roll. I think this is from 1967. This is called Mel West and the Meteors, What a Wonderful World. And this is on Sound Sound Around Records. Next up, this is a common album in our uh, in our um, thrift shops, the Western Union, featuring Bill and Sue on Hillman, Jake Craker or Kroger. Krager or Kroger, and Barry Foreman. They do country rock. This is their album number two from 1971. They have quite a number of other albums as well. They have a blog spot on the internet. We can learn more about them. Next up on Crescent Street Records, we have Lori Zimmerman. Discogs says this is from 1969, but the album itself says it came out in 1971. Bought this new. It was available in the delete bins in the early 80s. Sort of a folk rock. Singer-songwriter. Lori Zimmerman. And this is the Crescent Street label. And finally, out of Halifax, Nova Scotia, we have Xylan, 1973, Rainbows, Dreams, and Fantasies on Columbia. Columbia, Canada. Gatefold. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave your comments at the bottom. I'd be interested in seeing other people show off their Canadian uh, collection from the 60s and early 70s. Already Fat City Vinyl did a Vancouver Rocks video which was fascinating. And uh, Hippie DJ Kid, even though he's based in Greece, did a a really, really interesting Canadian rock video from the 1960s and early 70s. So please leave your comments at the bottom. Uh, make your response videos if you're if you if you are so inclined, and please subscribe. Look forward to hearing from you. Have a good day. Bye bye.